and Everett every time. O T B B. Okay, it's not Potter. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brett Velikovich. I'm yes. like, I should also, I love you. your wife. <laughs> I was so yeah, excited. Your wife is in the, the studio. It's just yeah. so lovely. I'd love for you guys yeah. are gorgeous together. She's awesome. You're, you, you literally are like my relationship goals, and I'm already <laughs> married. But anyway, I was, you know, at the end of the show, I was going to boldly say your last name one more time, and then I looked across the studio and I said, "So, do you go by Mrs." Filikovich, and you're like, no, I kept my maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> to which his response was, that's messed up. Really? Oh, you said that's messed up? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even hear it. We were on the air, so I'm sure the audience heard it. <laughs> anyway, uh, what would you think of that first hour under your belt of Outnumbered? I enjoyed it. I think it's a lot lighter here being on the couch with uh, you ladies, and uh, it was it was fun. So It's different because you can actually explore a topic rather yeah. than just speaking Absolutely. in a few words on it. Yeah, it's nice, and we get to, you know, show the, the, the breadth of everything and basically going to different topics and not having to just talk about counterterrorism all day long like I normally do. So let me <laughs> ask you something. Where are things at with re the regulation of drones? I mean, I'm sure this is something you have to talk about every day, yeah. all day. But, I mean, where are we as far as, like, can you fly your drone? Do you have one here? We do have one here. Um, I don't want to get in trouble for flying <laughs> it. but I'm Can we just bring it over? Um, I mean, it's do you have to fly studio? it over or can it walk? No, it can do a lot of very cool things. Um, it can, like, pick up people or it could uh, take, you know, high-definition videos and transmit it That's to oh, command right centers. But one, one of the things, one of the reasons we went down to Irma to help with drones is we wanted to basically provide uh, first responders with, like, almost, essentially intelligence information to help them understand, like, what they were walking into. With Orlando, there was a lot of concern about all these alligators, like, populating the neighborhoods yeah. if the waters rose up too high. And so you can actually use drones to fly over, use the thermal cameras on them to see if there's 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 issues there but it, to answer Did you your ever question see any alligator issues no we didn't because the water the, where we were at the water uh, didn't didn't get um, as high as we uh, predicted but um, regarding regulations we're in limbo I mean right now with regulations there's regulations when it comes to more the commercial side of drones for mm -hmm. businesses flying them but pretty much everyday hobbyists are allowed to go out there and fly which is kind of scary um, when you oh, think about it come on up come I on. woke up one day kind of freaking out that I don't know your maiden name but mrs. Joyce Belikovich come Come on up. Yeah, you already look like you, you're beautiful. <laughs> you look great. Your makeup done. You everything. can take my place. I'm just be aware that you're in every. I like to tell people you're in every shot. So just <laughs> thank you, Joyce, yeah. very much. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Oh wow. And you didn't trip, which is always my biggest fear. Well, yeah. 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 She's She's her. Those heels, well, they're kind of easy to, you know, I'm worried one day I'm just going to trip when Lisa I come Booth on. Lisa Booth taught me how to walk. No, no, you taught me how to walk. <laughs> Nobody wants to learn from me. It's That's not, not true. Really All right, cool. look, it's beeping. What's going on? Well, I'm always bringing, I always bring a drone like everywhere I go, so it's very oh, rare to see me okay. without one, but this one's pretty cool because it really can't hurt you. You know, the oh, propellers are like Then I'll stop here. jumping out of fear. Yeah, yeah. and then you then just, I can look at it you just open it up and then you can set it right here. Uh-huh. And it just goes. That's Whoa. So, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, and it wow. recognizes my face, so it'll actually follow me. You're kidding. Yeah, it, so. it has face recognition? Yeah, you see how I'm moving to the right? What happens when oh it doesn't gosh. recognize mine? Also, it's it a might good go thing. crazy. It's a good thing nobody needs their notes anymore. <laughs> If I, if I started wow. walking, it would like follow me around the studio. Oh, stand up, let's see. Oh gosh. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can't go so far cool. with the microphones on, All so right. you gotta come back, but. Wow. That's, That's really neat. Yeah. What so is the wow. primary use of that particular drone? This one is just to look cool when you have it. You know, <laughs> That's but, just, uh, a just to impress people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, mo most of them are used to take like videos, uh, high definition videos. Uh, this one is meant to really follow you around. It's, it's essentially a, a, what we call a droney, which is a selfie in the drone world. It's no. supposed to follow you around. You can ride a bicycle, you know, you can, you know, jog and it'll take photos of you. It That's only like has next level, level selfie you? stick. Now I know oh, what I'm getting selfie. everyone for Christmas. But how does that work out? Like you go home and you're like, Gosh, I just can't see enough of myself. It's America. You know, we get stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, there's like, plenty of people. Please. <laughs> plenty, yeah, there are so many animal. people that would utilize that <laughs> yeah. aspect of this. Yeah. Is there real. anything that huh. is life enhancing in terms of what we've seen with Harvey and Irma that could utilize something like this? Not this particular one, but the ones we brought down were very um, industrial type drones, so they could fly. They were waterproof. Um, they had the ability to uh, have night vision on them, so they could look for, for victims. Um, we actually had a canine search and rescue team there, so we had a we had a, a, a dog with us that, um, you know, we were basically there as a self-sufficient unit that drones played more of an intelligence support role for. Um, and so we're already seeing a lot of the benefits of it um, because it used to be all, you know, pe when you talk about drones, people think of drone strikes, think about big predator drones mm -hmm. that are launching right. missiles. But the yeah. truth is, you know, off the shelf consumer drones, they've come a long so, way. So, but let me ask you about that because, I, 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 sorry, I've tried to ask this like five times. Yeah. I'm gonna ask one more time. If a drone flies in my backyard, what right do I have to, 
shoot that drone down you have, you or pull that no drone right. down. The, the aerial view is a public view. Even if um, people are in your backyard, if they're flying, if you took a shotgun and shot it down, you would go to prison. And that's kind of a messed up. On my wow. property yes. because it's in airspace. Yes, the that's only disturbing. Though. The only way it's the only places they're regulated um, are in places like government buildings and um, areas that uh, are. Is that a problem? Like a I think it's a big problem. Yeah, I mean, the, there are, last year there were 2.5 million drones sold in the U.S. alone. I mean, how much does one like this cost? One like this Ish. is about 500 bucks. Most people are the. the the average one most people buy are actually in the thousand dollar range because you can fly them four or five miles away from the remote. You can, um, you know, live stream the video back to a, a, your tablet, so you can see a lot of very cl close details. But what if you had access to top secret? I'm sorry, I'm, this is getting no. It's, you had good. access to top secret information, and you are in an office on the second floor of your home, and some 13 year old kid flies a drone taking pictures up in your window. You have no right to stop that drone. You, you have no right. A lot of people. It's it's happened before. With people have uh, been flying drones over uh, children in a backyard and you think like this is you know yeah. absolutely you know disgraceful and a person has come out there and taken a shotgun and shot it down and they were the oh. ones that got in trouble. Oh, but that's what the, the drone laws do need to change the FAA is working on it but it's with any government mm. bureaucracy it's slow. You know I, I don't talk in detail about the situation because it does affect people that are identifiable but before we moved in the past year and it was one of the issues that we had and why we moved I was droned by a neighbor when I was in the backyard in a, in a swimsuit not a big deal, right? It's how I would look going to the beach, except for I thought I had privacy. Right, yeah. And I was in, in your literally own home, fenced on your own in. Property. Like we used to call our old backyard the playpen. <laughs> and it was perfect for our kids because you couldn't get out or you couldn't get in. The problem was um, it was an invasion of privacy, but you're right. So my husband just called the city manager and said, what do we do? Because we know we can't address this on our own, we know we can't do anything to that drone. City manager said, "I'll send somebody over." Well, from our, yeah. from our PD just to talk to. Did they do anything? There, yeah, they talked to the neighbor and they said, "You you need to be cognizant of the fact that when it crosses your property line, uh, this can become litigious. This can yeah, become it can problematic." Be, I think but we, we have, couldn't take a shot. We couldn't why, do anything about that drone, though. You we just, couldn't pull it down. We couldn't touch it. That's why it's good to just not be able to afford a backyard like me, and then you don't have <laughs> to worry. You don't oh, have this problem. It's called a playpen. When you, I don't know. When you think about it. Then you have no backyard. It's really the only reason I don't live in a house. But, think, but can we're, they we're come have to down? It'll the, the right. way we think of fences. It's a problem. But think, think about how we That's have scary, we have though. done we have done fences for for centuries. Okay, we're gonna, we yeah. might have to redefine a fence. And what um, the the drone community is working on right now is called geofencing, to where if a drone does fly in your area, it can actually block it and put up a oh, wall so it doesn't fly over it. Interesting. So how low? Yeah. My question is, so the, air, well, the I was aerial eight feet down. So you had to really try to come into my yard with the drone. I can show you videos. Uh, where I was you, down in people's backyard because I was trying to make sure that they had, um, you know, they knew where the water was up to their property, and I, I could, wow. I was a mile away, and I could drop it in. The strength See, of these the signals are very, very drones. good. I love it. But can you land a drone on someone else's property? You could. I mean, it's I all mean, about you, line of sight. Then can you take the drone or disable the drone or shoot the drone? Yeah, if it actually, lands actually, on the a couple lawn? weeks ago, I was I was talking about a drone gun that you can actually shoot a radio waves at, and it'll stop a drone in the air. So we might even see a new version of the NRA wow. that has drone guns. Is there a certain elevation that is considered aerial space? Like, for instance, you know, in, that's in, what I was trying to ask. You asked it yeah. more succinctly. Well, it doesn't you. happen very often. <laughs> 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 this time. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. There's a. They say you're not supposed to fly over 400 feet um, okay, because then you start getting a different class of, air, of airspace. And there's all kinds of other smaller laws around airports. A lot of airports are already geofenced off. So if you tried to fly a high-end drone into it, you would actually be stopped. Or that drone, if you're inside it, the drone won't even take off at all because it knows it's in a no-fly zone. So, so interesting. Uh, yeah. There's. I mean, the drone community is, is incredible. How expensive is that though to get the do like to protect yourself from? Right now, it's incredibly Paris, expensive because it's all it's all new technology. No, I just never go outside. Yeah, a lot of the military you just need bases are using. one of those guns, it. and the next time some sucker comes up to do that, you're just like, sure. Knock them down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotcha. Laser style. Uh, so what are you doing right now? Because I know you, you keep landing in places and helping people out. Yeah. And there's a lot to do. So my focus, um, I'm a small business owner, but my focus as of late has been uh, doing humanitarian projects. So we actually have a whole program where we're taking drone technology and either donating it or providing it to a variety of humanitarian causes. So one of the, the, the projects I'm very passionate about right now is what we call the African Eye, which is we're taking uh, military drone technology and repurposing it to do wildlife conservation overseas and do oh, anti-poaching. Wow. And so we've got guys right now that are in Kenya. We're going cool. to Somalia in two weeks into Mogadishu to help um, the, the, the government out there yeah. show how to use drones for it's good. It's a great way wow. to. Awesome. That's really cool. Uh, uh, Artemis I One. Thank you for your service, my fellow veteran. Right. Thank you yeah, thank very, you very much. much. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody.